So something's going on with Brian Danielson. His first promo after he came back from Wembley was that as soon as he lost the title, his full-time career was going to be over. He very specifically said that, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, now it's changed. And I can tell you that Brian Danielson is just a physical wreck. He probably shouldn't be wrestling at all, but he is. And so maybe he in his brain, he's like, you know what? I'm never going to wrestle again. A sit down with Will Ospreay and Ricochet. God, it's made me mad. It's very short. It's fine for what it was. They say, for more of this, go to our YouTube channel. Yeah, this made me mad because this looked like a good interview. And you must go to YouTube to watch the entire thing. It's like, I ain't going to YouTube to watch the whole thing. Like, if it's good, put it on national television. It was not good. I don't know. Well, Pork Chop here says, I didn't think the full interview was that good. <laughs> Great. So maybe that answers the question. All right. You going to believe what the man called Pork Chop has to say, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't eat him. Good to hear. So many jokes. This is the funniest thing in a while. So they're going to tape this match before Dynamite, and they suddenly realize that Ian Riccoboni has not made it to the building yet. Uh -huh. He has travel yeah. issues. Tony Khan's solution was pretend he's there. You're going to do commentary. You're going to pretend he's there. Um, and every now and then you're going to go quiet for a while and he will insert a comment in post. You can see he's not there. <laughs> every now and then they'll do like a long shot and you see the announcers and there's no Ian Riccoboni. But, like, his voice just magically appears. Tony Schiavone is such a fucking pro after all these years that he realizes the jam they're in, and so he starts to scream, Ian is hidden under the desk! That's what that was. Yes. And then you hear Ian's voice say, But I'm scared! <laughs> and then you hear Daddy Magic go, Ian, get out from under the desk! <laughs> Why the fuck do we have to make everything so hard? <laughs> Just say Ian had to go to the back, or hey, oh my god, he saw he saw Minoru Suzuki and all of a sudden he said he had to urinate. He'll be back for the next match. Something. I can buy that. You pretended he was there, but he was invisible. And then he hid under a desk. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. You know what's a great show to steal shit from is 2005 SmackDown. 2005? This was a 2019 Raw <laughs> Whatever. Set. I actually got messages from people who said... I actually left during this segment. I literally left the show during this segment. Are, are these two calling the actual Vince McMahon and going, we got a segment on Collision. Like, <laughs> what should we do? And he goes, oh, I got a great idea. Like, this was his fucking, this was his gimmick. It, 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 Maximum it, male models. This felt like a Vince McMahon produced segment. And like, this 100%. shit is worse than what they did on his show. I don't get it, man. Granny, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. Set up an exercise program. What kind of exercise are you doing? Well, for one thing, just sit and... <laughs> I got that Excuse one me. down. <laughs> my Sounds like my exercise program. <laughs> Your exercise Kick. is just sitting. Who was the most inspiring person you have ever met? <laughs> Granny of late. Fair, fair enough, yeah. Yeah. I got nothing better. I'll have to say myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my high school shop teacher, Mr. Mesher Schmidt. Mr. Mesher Schmidt. Yep. Why does everyone go to school with a teacher with a name like that? Craig, what was so inspiring about the shop teacher? He taught him to... to Play with his wood. He got a good job out of it. Yes, Brian, that's what he taught. Did he have all his fingers? What's the best part about having a massive heart attack? Not dying, I guess. There you go. Good yeah. answer. Jeez, what a question. <laughs> Which vegetable would you send to outer space for aliens to try? Broccoli. That that how do you have that so quickly? Ridiculously fast I, answer. You've thought about this before. Maybe they'll get scared and think we taste like that. You're afraid they're going to eat what? you. What? <laughs> <laughs> you think E.T. is going to hold up a broccoli florette and look at that, yeah. and then look at Craig Proper, and he'll think to himself, I bet they taste the same. Sure. Okay. It was all for comedic value, Vinny. I meant none of that. <laughs> gonna have to, you think uh, there's thought in anything I say? <laughs> Come on now. Wrestling, Briscoe versus Keith. Oh, Brian Keith. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Punches back and forth. Neither one seems to feel the punches. Elbow punches, chest chops, power bombs. I gave that a four. Oh, wow. Golly. Rare AEW review here by Granny and not mm -hmm. a fan. I could have put two different names on this one and had the same thing. Wow. Can I get back on? Okay, now my trivia. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Sneak that over, Jared. Okay. In water polo, how many players are there on each side? Seven. Right. Oh, well, well, how do they keep the horse from drowning? Sportsman here. Did anyone to tell something? Can I say long enough to hear it? It's sad news, Granny. I think I know what it is. What is it? Not going to say. <laughs> okay, Bobby. It's like primetime wrestling here. All right, let's leave her on while we talk Al about Hall this. Al Hollis passed away, Granny. Do you remember him from the convention, the Hollis? Oh, the really? English yeah. fella. He was at WrestleMania, the one in Phoenix. I can't remember which one. I, I got to go. I have to sneeze. Oh, bye. Okay. okay, bye, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Craig. A fine tribute. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this was the worst go home show to a major event I've ever seen in my life. And the major event in question sold 78,000 tickets. Ricochet versus Will Ospreay for the international title. This wrestling match was phenomenal. It looked like two superheroes having a battle, and I thought that. Before the ad for DC Comics and Batman and Superman came up, they did two fuck finishes in two minutes. Yeah. Why did you piss off the crowd twice? Is this the end of the world? Are people not going to want to ever see this match again? Of course not. Did they turn off Dynamite in droves? No. 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 But I did not like the way they did this. No. It felt like it. It felt like the heat was on the company as opposed to the heat being on Takeshita. Yes. This was tremendous. Does anybody great. realize how great this Mark Briscoe fella is? I do. He's got a promo where you can't do something else while he's doing the promo. Some people, they start their promo and you kind of zone out for a second until they get to the point. Not Mark Briscoe. You are glued to the screen. So this was a great little segment. Taz's Hi. knees are shot. That sucks. They said that he had been attacked. So my presumption is he's getting knee surgery. Yeah. And it's going to be out for a while. Yeah. Did you, guys, did you see the uh, graphic they put up for this match? Funniest fucking thing oh, I've ever seen. Oh, their, their, their faces? Yes. Yes. The picture of Hangman and the picture of Juice. That's a ticket-selling <laughs> graphic right there. This Switchblade's got a hell of a tan. Mm. Coming back from a uh, broken foot, which I think he got in the Hangman match, if I recall correctly. So I guess they can kind of turn that into the storyline here. So something's going on with Brian Danielson. His first promo after he came back from Wembley was that as soon as he lost the title, his full-time career was going to be over he very specifically said that okay mm -hmm, yeah. well now it's changed and i can tell you that brian danielson is just a physical wreck he probably shouldn't be wrestling at all but he is and so maybe he in his brain he's like you know what i'm never gonna wrestle again so serena's working over with a variety of boston crabs half crabs and single leg crabs savani notes that brit is quote hurting from single crabs i don't think he meant it to be a dirty joke but i could go as Shelton Benjamin got a massive, massive pop. I mean, people get big pops when they debut, but this was something else. They freaked out for Shelton Benjamin. I think because they figured out what's going on. Lashley's coming next. It might be. The Hurt Business is back. If you take the time to break down the rules of each belt, it, makes, it does make sense. Well, of course it makes but... sense, but it's ridiculous. The Continental title is only on the line for 20 minutes because it has a 20-minute time limit. Yes. No one can interfere for 20 minutes, but you can interfere at minute 21. You know, I had not thought about that part. Yes. I forgot the... That happened. I, that is exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened here. I, I totally forgot that the Continental title has a no interference rule, and apparently all the other matches are interfere all you want. The last half hour did not do well at all. Their, their overruns almost never do well. And this was another example of it. I don't know if it was because some people's system cut out. I don't know if it was just too long for everybody. But it was Brian Danielson versus Okada, title for title. And they lost a lot of viewers in the last half hour of this show. WWE NXT on CW. First reaction, it's going to be very, very weird turning on my DVR for NXT and not watching the last 30 seconds of a Law & Order rerun. That would take some getting used to. Julia versus Roxanne Perez. Julia's entrance looks like an A++++ star. Roxanne looks great, too. They worked great together. Yep. I mean, never having been in the ring before. Uh, you would think they've been feuding for months. Yeah. I mean, they were great. A hooded figure runs down and DDTs Julie on the floor. Roxanne has pop rocks and wins. They could do a shot of a very confused, perturbed fan. Why do they pin Julia in her, not her debut, but on the CW debut? It was her first match. 
It's not, the, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. She'll be fine. She's got her first opponent in Cora Jade. Her first rival. Yeah. Cora Jade's back. We see CM Didn't Punk. even unmask, but she goes, Shung. <laughs> I suppose that's true. That's what she did. Yeah. Wesley and Zachary Wentz had a Chicago street fight. Boy, did they. Very, very definitive win for Wesley. This ended, and they gave them a standing ovation. So It's quite awesome. Very, very good stuff. Miz TV. Sucks. <laughs> Quickly he's a heel again, and he's just out there doing the same shit he's been doing for 25 years. It like, brings nothing to the table. The best talker in this entire thing was Obafemi. Yes! This guy is a surefire main eventer. Oh, yeah. He's big. He's agile. He's already good enough to have matches for a guy his size on the main roster. Yeah. He can talk. The people, like, they're into this guy. Yep. Trick Williams versus Ethan Page with CM Punk as special ref. So the match was like a very basic 101 level main event formula. But that formula works when you do it well. And they did it well. So great. Then you can just see the ref furiously telling him, we're out of time. We're out of time. So they managed to get the finish in. It was totally rushed. And then they start celebrating, and they have the cannons, and they shoot off all of the uh, confetti. And as they shoot off all the confetti, there's like five seconds left. And so Punk fucking grabs Ethan Page, and he gives him a GTS. As confetti is shooting out, you can't see a fucking thing. And then the show just is off the air. You no longer have a nine-minute overrun. Yeah. It is time to figure out the timing of your show. Yeah, I'm sick of my, uh, what I said. NXT was a better show. I know, it might have been. I'll put it this way. I did like both of the shows. I had more frustrations watching AEW. Okay. I will say that. Yeah.